Catherine Elizabeth Hudson, known professionally as Katy Perry, is an American singer, songwriter, and television personality. She has been recognized for her influence on modern pop music and her campy style, with Vogue referring to her as the Queen of Camp. Pursuing a career in gospel music at 16, Perry released her debut album, Katie Hudson, under Red Hill Records in 2001, which was commercially unsuccessful. She moved to Los Angeles at 17 to venture into secular music, and later adopted the stage name Katy Perry from her mother's maiden name. She recorded an album titled Fingerprints while signed to Columbia Records, but was dropped before signing to Capitol Records. She rose to fame with One of the Boys, a pop rock record containing her debut single I Kissed a Girl and follow-up single Hot and Cold, which reached number one and three on the U.S. Billboard Hot 100 respectively. The disco-influenced pop album Teenage Dream spawned five U.S. number one singles California Girls, Teenage Dream, Firework, E.T., and Last Friday Night becoming the first and only album by a solo female singer to do so. A reissue of the album titled Teenage Dream, The Complete Confection subsequently produced the U.S. number one single Part of Me. Her dance-inspired fourth album Prism had themes of empowerment and two U.S. number one singles Roar and Dark Horse. Both their respective music videos made Perry the first artist to have multiple videos reach one billion views on Vivo. The electropop album Witness featured themes of feminism and a political subtext, while Smile was influenced by her recent motherhood. Afterwards, she embarked on her sold-out Las Vegas concert residency titled Play, receiving critical acclaim and commercial success. Perry is one of the best-selling music artists of all time, having sold over 143 million records worldwide. All of her studio albums released under Capitol have individually surpassed 1 billion streams on Spotify, totaling 6 billion streams. She has nine U.S. number one singles, three U.S. number one albums and has received various accolades, including four Guinness World Records, five Billboard Music Awards, five American Music Awards, a Brit Award, and a Juno Award. Perry has been included in the annual Forbes lists of highest earning women in music from 2011 to 2019. Her acclaimed Super Bowl halftime show performance in 2015 is the most watched in history. Outside of music, she released an autobiographical documentary titled Katy Perry, Part of Me in 2012, voiced Smurfette in the Smurfs film series, and launched her own shoe line Katy Perry Collections in 2017. Perry began serving as a judge on American Idol during its 16th season in 2018. She is also the most followed woman and the third most followed person on Twitter, with over 100 million followers. Life and Career 1984-1999, Early Life and Family Catherine Elizabeth Hudson was born on October 25, 1984, in Santa Barbara, California, to Pentecostal pastors Mary Christine and Maurice Keith Hudson. Both of her parents turned to religion after a wild youth. Perry has English, German, Irish, and Portuguese ancestry. Through her mother, she is a niece of film director Frank Perry. She has a younger brother named David, who is also a singer, and an older sister, Angela. From ages 3 to 11, Perry frequently moved across the country as her very strict parents set up churches before settling again in Santa Barbara. Growing up, she attended religious schools and camps including Paradise Valley Christian School in Arizona and Santa Barbara Christian School in California during her elementary years. Her family struggled financially, sometimes using food stamps and eating food from the food bank which also fed the congregation at Perry's parents' church. Growing up, Perry and her siblings were not allowed to eat the cereal Lucky Charms as the word luck reminded their mother of Lucifer, and were also required to call deviled eggs angelite eggs. Perry primarily listened to gospel music, 
as non-religious music was generally discouraged in the family's home. She discovered popular music through CDs she sneaked from her friends. Perry later recalled a story about how a friend of hers played You Oughta Know by Alanis Morissette, which impacted her songwriter and singing. While not strictly identifying as religious, she has stated, I pray all the time for self-control, for humility. Wanting to be like her sister Angela, Perry began singing by practicing with her sister's cassette tapes. She performed the tracks in front of her parents, who let her take vocal lessons like Angela was doing at the time. She began training at age nine and was incorporated into her parents' ministry, singing in church from ages nine to seventeen. At thirteen, Perry was given her first guitar for her birthday, and publicly performed songs she wrote. She tried to be a bit like the typical Californian girl while growing up and started roller skating, skateboarding, and surfing as a teenager. Her brother David described her as a tomboy during her adolescence, which Perry talks about on her song One of the Boys. She took dancing lessons and learned how to swing, lindy hop, and jitterbug. Perry completed her general educational development requirements early at age 15, during her first year of high school and left Dos Pueblos High School to pursue a music career. 2000-2006, Career Beginnings, I Katie Hudson slash I, and I Fingerprints slash I. None. 2007-2009, Breakthrough with I One of the Boys slash I. None. 2010-2012, I Teenage Dream slash I and First Marriage. None. 2013-2015, I Prism Slash I and Super Bowl XLIX Halftime Show. None. 2016-2018, I Witness Slash I and I American Idol Slash I. None. 2019-2020, I Smile Slash I and Motherhood. None. 2021 Present, Play Concert Residency. On January 20th. 2021, Perry performed Firework at the Celebrating America concert during the inauguration of Joe Biden. Four months later, she released a new single, Electric, a collaboration with Pokemon for their 25th anniversary. Perry began hosting a concert residency named Play at Resorts World Las Vegas on December 29, 2021. The show's inception happened during the COVID-19 lockdowns with Perry being inspired by Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, Pee-wee's Playhouse and Pee-wee's Big Adventure. She described it as larger than life and the kookiest, most camp show I've ever put together. The show has received critical acclaim with Melinda Shekels of Billboard saying that sold-out opening night is part fantasy, part hallucination and thoroughly camp. In addition to a sold-out opening night, the Santa Barbara Independent reported that Perry's contract deal for the residency is worth $168 million. In September 2021, Variety paid tribute to and honored Perry on their Power of Women issue, where she discussed her career, motherhood, and philanthropy. As a nominee, she attended the Variety 2021 Power of Women dinner. On her 37th birthday the next month, Perry Guest hosted the Ellen DeGeneres show and starred in a holiday advertisement for Gap Incorporated, which featured her singing All You Need Is Love by the Beatles. A full version of her cover was released on streaming platforms the same day. Two months later, Perry followed this with When I'm Gone, a collaboration with Swedish DJ Alesso that made her the third person to reach number one on Croatia's ARC 100 list across three different decades following Lady Gaga and Coldplay. In January 2022, she and Morgan McLaughlin established Deswa, a company which produces and sells non-alcoholic aperitifs. Both wanted a beverage that would mellow the mind, minus the buzz when creating it. Along with Thomas Rhett, Perry recorded a country pop duet titled Where We Started for his album of the same name that was released three months later. That May, 
it was announced Perry would create music for the soundtrack to Jeremy Zag's animated musical film Melody and voice its title character. She also became the new face for Just Eat's advertisements and created a new remix of their jingle. On June 8, 2022, Perry was awarded with the key to Las Vegas, the same day it was marked as Katy Perry Day. Perry collaborated with the tech company Apple Inc. starring in advertisements for their GarageBand music software where users could have remix sessions featuring her song, Harley's in Hawaii. On the collab, Perry stated, Harley's in Hawaii has lived so many different lives there is so much opportunity to remix this song, and I can't wait to hear all the garage band evolutions with this Apple collab. Artistry Influences Perry cites her sister Angela as the woman who has had the most influence on her. During the early stages of her career, Perry's musical style gravitated towards gospel and she aspired to be as successful as Amy Grant. At age 15, she heard Killer Queen by Queen, which inspired her to pursue a music career. She cites the band's frontman, Freddie Mercury, as her biggest influence and expressed how the combination of his sarcastic approach to writing lyrics and his I don't give a fuck attitude inspired her music. She paid homage to the band by naming her third fragrance Killer Queen. Perry described the Beach Boys and their album Pet Sounds as having a considerable influence on her music, Pet Sounds is one of my favorite records and it influenced pretty much all of my songwriter. All of the melody choices that I make are because of Pet Sounds. The singer also holds the Beatles album The Beatles in High Esteem, and described these two albums as the only things I listened to for probably two years straight. She cites Alanis Morissette and her 1995 album Jagged Little Pill as a significant musical inspiration, stating in 2012, Jagged Little Pill was the most perfect female record ever made. There's a song for anyone on that record, I relate to all those songs. They're still so timeless. Additionally, Perry borrows influence from Flaming Red by Patty Griffin and Ten Cent Wings by Jonathan Brooke. Perry's autobiographical documentary Katy Perry, Part of Me was largely influenced by Madonna, Truth or Dare. She admires Madonna's ability to reinvent herself, saying I want to evolve like Madonna. Perry names Bjork as an influence, particularly admiring her willingness to always be taking chances. Other artists who Perry has cited as influences include Stevie Nicks, ABBA, The Cardigans, Whitney Houston, Cindy Lauper, Ace of Bass, 303, Cease Peniston, CNC Music Factory, Black Box, Crystal Waters, Mariah Carey, Hart, Joni Mitchell, Paul Simon, Imogen Heap, Rufus Wainwright, Pink, and Gwen Stefani. Firework was inspired by a passage in the book On the Road by Jack Kerouac in which the author compares people who are full of life to fireworks that shoot across the sky and make people watch in awe. Her second concert tour, the California Dreams Tour, was reminiscent of Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and the Wonderful Wizard of Ounce. She also credits the 1996 film The Craft for inspiring her song Dark Horse, and Eckhart Tolle's book The Power of Now for Influencing Prism. Musical Style and Themes While Perry's music incorporates pop, rock, and disco, Katie Hudson contains gospel. Her subsequent releases, One of the Boys and Teenage Dream, involve themes of sex and love. One of the Boys is a pop rock record, while Teenage Dream features disco influences. Perry's fourth album, Prism, is significantly influenced by dance and pop music. Lyrically, the album addresses relationships, self-reflection, and everyday life. Her fifth studio effort witnesses an electropop album that she described as a 360-degree liberation record, with themes including political liberation, sexual liberation, and liberation from negativity. Many of her songs, particularly on Teenage Dream, reflect on love between teenagers, 
W Magazine described the album's sexual innuendos as irresistible hook-laden melodies. Self-empowerment is a common theme in Perry's music. Perry has described herself as a singer-songwriter masquerading as a pop star and maintains that honest songwriter is very important to her. She told Marie Claire, I feel like my secret magic trick that separates me from a lot of my peers is the bravery to be vulnerable and truthful and honest. I think you become more relatable when you're vulnerable. Actress and comedian Kristen Wiig commented that as easy, breezy, and infectious as Perry's songs can be, beneath the surface lurks a sea of mixed emotions, jumbled motives, and contradictory impulses complicated enough to fill a Carole King record. According to Greg Cott of the Chicago Tribune, being taken seriously may be Perry's greatest challenge yet. In 2013, the New York Times labeled her the most potent pop star of the day her hits are relatable with just a hint of experimentation. Randall Roberts of the Los Angeles Times criticized her use of idioms and metaphors in her lyrics and for frequent clichés. Throughout her career, Perry has also co written songs recorded by other artists, including Leslie Roy, Kelly Clarkson, Jesse James Decker, Selena Gomez and The Scene, Britney Spears, Iggy Azalea, Rita Ora, Nicki Minaj, and Ariana Grande. Voice Perry possesses a contralto vocal range. Her singing has received both praise and criticism. Betty Clark of The Guardian commented that her powerful voice is hard-edged while Rob Sheffield from Rolling Stone described Perry's vocals on Teenage Dream as processed staccato blips. Darren Harvey of Music OMH compared Perry's vocals on One of the Boys to Alanis Morissette's, both possessing a perky voice shifting octaves mid-syllable. Alex Miller from NME felt that Perry's problem is often her voice on One of the Boys, stating that somewhere along the line someone convinced her she was like, well, a ballsy rock chick. Conversely, Bernadette McNulty from the Daily Telegraph praised her rock chick voice in a review of a concert promoting Prism. Public Image On social media, Perry surpassed Justin Bieber as the most followed person on Twitter in November 2013. She won the 2015 Guinness World Record for most Twitter followers, and became the first person to gain 100 million followers on the site in June 2017. Keith Caulfield of Billboard stated that Perry is the rare celebrity who seems to have enormous popularity but genuine ground-level interaction with her adoring Katie Katz. With over 108 million Twitter followers, she is the most followed female on the site and the fifth most followed musician across social media with a combined total of over 342 million followers across Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. In June 2017, Time magazine listed Perry among its 25 most influential people on the Internet of the year, writing that her live stream for Witness was blazing a trail for being the closest any major entertainer has come to giving fans the kind of real intimacy that social media purports to provide. Perry has been described as a sex symbol, GQ labeled her a full-on male fantasy, while Elle wrote her body looked as though sketched by a teenage boy. Vice called her a serious pop star slash woman slash sex symbol. She was placed at number one on the Maxim Hot 100 in 2010 as the most beautiful woman in the world, with editor Joe Levy describing her as a triple no quadruple kind of hot. Men's health readers voted her the sexiest woman of 2013. In November 2010, Perry told Harper's Bazaar that she was proud of and satisfied with her figure. Perry's fashion often incorporates humor, bright colors, and food related themes such as her characteristic spinning peppermint swirl dress. Vogue described her as never exactly one to shy away from the outrageous or the extreme in any realm, and called her the Queen of Camp, while Glamour named her the Queen of Quirk. In February 2009, Perry told Seventeen that her fashion style was a bit of a concoction of different things and stated she enjoyed humor in her clothing. She has also described herself as having multi-personality disorder for fashion. 
Perry lists Gwen Stefani, Shirley Manson, Chloe Sevigny, Daphne Guinness, Natalie Portman, and the fictional character Lolita as her style icons. In 2022, Elle dubbed her as the kitsch-loving pop star renowned for her uniquely experimental style, while Vogue described her style as synonymous with outrageous, eye-catching ensembles that lean towards the theatrical. During the 2017 launch of her shoe collection, Katy Perry Collections, she said about shoes, When I first got to LA, I cultivated my style on a budget, always shopping at thrift stores or vintage stores. Once, I found these flats that looked like Dalmatian dogs. They had ears that moved and a tongue that stuck out. They were such a conversation piece. That's what is so great about fashion. It's a form of communication. You don't have to start a smoking habit to start talking to someone. You can just wear cool shoes. It's an icebreaker. Legacy Several media outlets such as Billboard and Glamour have referred to her as the Queen of Pop, while Vogue and Rolling Stone have dubbed Perry the Queen of Camp. Andrew Unterberger of Billboard described Teenage Dream one of the defining LPS from a new golden age in megapop while Christopher Rosa of Glamour named her as an influence to the pop sound and style of the 2010s, adding that her singles are some of the most recognizable, iconic, and impactful hits in pop history. Perry was named one of the last decade's most reliable and successful hitmakers by the official charts company in 2022. Additionally, Perry was included in Glamour's 104 Women Who Defined the In Pop Culture list, saying, did more than just break chart records. She was one of the driving forces behind the sound of pop radio in the 2010s. Glossy, booming, sugary sweet, and undeniably catchy. Variety included Perry in their Variety 500 list of the most influential business leaders, calling her a global phenomenon and a dedicated artist and tireless self-promoter who has leveraged chart-topping hits, sold-out stadium shows, and staggering endorsement deals to become one of the richest and most influential pop stars alive. A 2017 journal published by Psychology of Aesthetics, Creativity and the Arts Studying Structural Patterns in the Melodies of Earworm Songs compiled lists of catchiest tracks from 3,000 participants, in which Perry's California Girls ranked number 6. She has been called a gay icon by Taylor Henderson of Out noting how I Kissed a Girl helped fans explore their sexuality and how Perry openly embraced the LGBTQ and community. Perry's music has been described by Out as having a lasting legacy, with American singers Fletcher sampling I Kissed a Girl and Olivia Rodrigo referencing Teenage Dream on Brutal. Additionally, other artists such as Halsey and Ariana Grande have praised Perry's work with Halsey calling Teenage Dream the perfect pop album and Grande saying the one that got away is one of the biggest and most perfectly written pop songs ever from one of the best pop albums of all time. Perry and her work have influenced artists such as Lil Nasx, Halsey, BTS, Adele, Lord, SIA, Bonnie McKee, Rina Sawayama, Daha Cat, Ellie Goulding, Tegan, and Sarah, Jesse J, Marina Diamandis. John Mayer, Jason Derulo, Lil B, Little Mix, Natalia Kills, Marin Morris, Haley Kiyoko, Troy E. Sivan, Kim Petras, Young Blood, Mary Lambert, Issues, Rebecca Black, The Lonely Island, Tramp Stamps, Baba Segal, Grace Van Der Waal, Dagny, and Coldplay. Other Ventures Philanthropy Perry has supported various charitable organizations and causes throughout her career. She has contributed to organizations aimed at improving the lives and welfare of children in particular. In April 2013, she joined UNICEF to assist children in Madagascar with education and nutrition. On December 3, 2013, she was officially named a UNICEF Goodwill Ambassador with a special focus on engaging young people in the agency's work to improve the lives of the world's most vulnerable children and adolescents. 
she arranged for a portion of the money generated from tickets to her Prismatic World Tour to go to UNICEF. In September 2010, she helped build and design the Boys Hope slash Girls Hope Foundation Shelter for Youth in Baltimore, Maryland along with Raven Simone, Shaquille O'Neal and the cast of Extreme Makeover, Home Edition. In 2010, Perry and Nicki Minaj performed a cover of Girls Just Want to Have Fun for service members during the 2010 VH1 Divas Salute the Troops concert. She has also supported children's education and well being. All profits from sales of the album The Gay 90s Old Time Music, Daisy Bell, which includes her rendition of Daisy Bell, were donated to the charity Little Kids Rock, which supports musical education in underprivileged elementary schools. In June 2014, she teamed up with Staples Incorporated for a project entitled Make Roar Happen which donated $1 million to Donors Choose, an organization that supports teachers and funds classroom resources in public schools. In May 2016, she worked with UNICEF to improve child care quality in Vietnam, hoping to break the cycle of poverty and drastically improve children's health, education, and well-being. The following month, UNICEF announced that Perry would receive the Audrey Hepburn Humanitarian Award for her work as a UNICEF Goodwill Ambassador in support of the world's most vulnerable children at their annual Snowflake Ball in November. All Spatifa streams of her 2021 cover of All You Need Is Love will generate $1 in donations for the charity BABY2BABY. -B 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 Perry has supported organizations aimed at aiding people suffering with diseases including cancer and HIV slash AIDS. During the 2008 Warp Tour, she had a cast made of her breasts to raise money for the Keep A Breast Foundation. She hosted and performed at the We Can Survive concert along with Bonnie McKee, Casey Musgraves, Sarah Bareyas, Ellie Golding, and Duo Tegan and Sarah at the Hollywood Bowl in Los Angeles, California on October 23, 2013. The concert's profits were donated to Young Survival Coalition, an organization aiding breast cancer in young women. In June 2009, she designed an item of clothing for H&M's Fashion Against AIDS campaign, which raises money for HIV-AIDS awareness projects. On February 26, 2017, she served as a CO chair alongside various celebrities such as Beyoncé, Lee Michelle, Jim Carrey, Jared Leto, and Kevin Spacey for the 25th annual Elton John AIDS Foundation Academy Award Party, a fundraiser for HIV-AIDS healthcare. The proceeds from Perry's single part of me were donated to the charity Moosey Cares, which helps musicians in times of need. During her California Dreams tour, she raised over $175,000 for the tickets for charity fundraiser. The money was divided between three charities, the Children's Health Fund, Generosity Water, and the Humane Society of the United States. On her 27th birthday, Perry set up a donations page for the Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals Auckland, and set up a similar page benefiting the David Lynch Foundation for her 28th birthday. On March 29, 2014, she helped raise $2.4 million for the Museum of Contemporary Art in Los Angeles along with other celebrities such as Ryan Seacrest, Farrell Williams, Tim Allen, Lisa Edelstein, and Riley Kia. Perry performed at the One Love Manchester Benefit Concert for the victims of the 2017 Manchester Arena bombing, among various performers including its organizer Ariana Grande which was broadcast live on June 4, 2017, on radio and television stations around the world. In March 2018, Perry announced Witness, Coming Home, a benefit concert that was held in her hometown of Santa Barbara on May 19, 2018. The concert benefited those recovering from the aftermath of the 2017 California wildfires and 2018 Southern California mud flows. Perry partnered with the Santa Barbara Foundation, the 93,108 Fund and the 805 Undaka Fund, 
organizations which help in assisting members of the community in the Santa Barbara area through grants and various philanthropic efforts. Activism Perry has publicly advocated for LGBT rights and admitted that she wrote I Kissed a Girl about her own bisexual experiences with other women. In 2017, she received a Nation Equality Award from Human Rights Campaign for using her powerful voice and international platform to speak out for LGBTQ equality. In her acceptance speech, she discussed having bisexual experiences, her fluid sexuality, and thanked the LGBTQ and community. In an out interview in 2021, she was heralded as a gay icon with I Kissed a Girl being called a bona fide queer anthem. She continued to thank the LGBTQ and community in the same interview, saying, I came from a very sheltered upbringing where it wasn't okay to be friends with anyone from that community. And now that is my community, I wouldn't have survived without the community and it's amazing how full circle it's come and how much growth has happened since I started. Tomas Meyer of Rolling Stone remarked Perry championed queer folks, especially drag queens, throughout her career. She supported Stonewall during their It Gets Better. Today campaigned to prevent homophobic bullying, and dedicated the music video to her song Firework to the It Gets Better project. In 2008, Perry told Do Something she was proud to be a LGBT rights activist saying I've always been a very open-minded person, but I definitely believe in equality. In June 2012, Perry expressed her hopes for LGBT equality, commenting hopefully, we will look back at this moment and think like we do now concerning civil rights issues. We'll just shake our heads in disbelief, saying, thank God we've evolved. That would be my prayer for the future. In December 2012, Perry was awarded the Trevor Hero Award by the Trevor Project for her work and activism on behalf of LGBT youth. Perry identifies as a feminist, and appeared in April 2013 in a video clip for the Chime for Change campaign that aimed to spread female empowerment. She has also said that America's lack of free health care drove her absolutely crazy. Following the shooting at the Pulse nightclub in Orlando in June 2016, Perry and nearly 200 other artists and executives in music signed an open letter organized by Billboard addressed to United States Congress demanding increased gun control in the United States. Through Twitter and by performing at rallies, Perry supported President Barack Obama in his run for re election and praised his support for same sex marriage and LGBT equality. She performed at three rallies for Obama, in Los Angeles, Las Vegas, and Wisconsin, singing a rendition of Let's Stay Together as well as a number of her songs. During her Las Vegas performance she wore a dress made to replicate a voting ballot, with Obama's box filled in. On Twitter, she encouraged her followers to vote for Obama. In August 2013, Perry voiced criticism of Tony Abbott then leader of Conservative Liberal Party of Australia and candidate for Prime Minister of Australia, due to his opposition to gay marriage and told Abbott, I love you as a human being but I can't give you my vote, the statement came after Abbott expressed pride at learning of Perry's then upcoming performance in Australia. In April 2014, she publicly supported Marianne Williamson in her campaign for California's 33rd Congressional District by attending a political press event. She endorsed Kamala Harris in the United States Senate election in California, and organized a fundraiser for Harris at her home in Los Angeles in November 2016. Perry also publicly endorsed former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton for president in 2016. She performed alongside Elton John at a fundraising concert for Clinton in New York City in March 2016. Perry also spoke and performed at the 2016 Democratic National Convention in support of Clinton. Four years later, she supported Joe Biden and Kamala Harris during the 2020 United States presidential election praising the latter as a leader who had experience we desperately need right now and believed that the former choosing her as his running mate is already a testament to his decision-making. 
achievements. Throughout her career, Perry has won five American Music Awards, 14 People's Choice Awards, four Guinness World Records, a Brit Award, and a Juno Award. In September 2012, Billboard dubbed her the Woman of the Year. From May 2010 to September 2011, the singer spent a record-breaking 69 consecutive weeks in the top 10 of the Billboard Hot 100. Teenage Dream became the first album by a female artist to produce five number one Billboard Hot 100 singles, and the second album overall after Michael Jackson's Bad. In the United States, she has accumulated nine number one singles on the Billboard Hot 100 her most recent being Dark Horse, and holds the record for having 18 consecutive number one songs on the Billboard Dance Club Songs chart. Billboard also named her the 15th most successful dance club artist of all time. The magazine additionally ranked her fourth on its greatest of all time pop songs artists list, included Teenage Dream and Prism among its greatest of all time Billboard 200 albums by women list and ranked Dark Horse at number 100 on its greatest of all time Hot 100 songs as well as one of its greatest of all time Hot 100 songs by women along with E.T, Firework, and California Girls. In June 2015, her music video for Dark Horse became the first video by a female artist to reach 1 billion views on Vivo. The following month, her music video for Roar reached 1 billion views on Vivo, making her the first artist to have multiple videos with 1 billion views. Perry was declared the top global female recording artist of 2013 by the International Federation of the Phonographic Industry. According to Recording Industry Association of America, she is the fifth top digital singles artist in the United States with 109.5 million certified song units in the country including on-demand streams and also has 17 million certified album units, totaling 126 million certified units in the United States. She also became the first artist to have three songs receive diamond certifications from the RIAA with Dark Horse, Firework, and Roar. All three of them and E.T., California Girls, and Hot and Cold have each sold over 5 million digital copies. With more than 18 million albums and 125 million singles sold globally, Perry is one of the best-selling music artists of all time. In 2011, Forbes ranked her third on their top earning women in music list with earnings of $44 million and fifth on their 2012 list with $45 million. She subsequently ranked seventh on the 2013 Forbes list for top earning women in music with $39 million earned, and fifth on their 2014 list with $40 million. With earnings of $135 million, Forbes also ranked Perry number one on their 2015 top earning women in music list as well as the world's highest paid musicians and declared her the highest earning female celebrity in 2015, placing her at number three on the Forbes Celebrity 100 list. In 2016, the magazine estimated her net worth was $125 million and ranked her number six on their list of highest paid women in music with earnings of $41 million. The following year, she was ranked number nine on the list with $33 million. In 2018, she topped its highest paid women in music listing and ranked at number four on the highest paid female celebrities list with earnings of $83 million. Perry subsequently was placed at number 4 on the 2019 Highest Paid Women in Music listings with $57.5 million. Later that year, with earnings of $530 million throughout the 2010s, the magazine also ranked her as the ninth highest earning musician of the decade. Discography Katie Hudson One of the Boys Teenage Dream Prism Witness. Smile. Filmography. The Smurfs. Katy Perry, Part of Me. The Smurfs 2. Brand, A Second Coming. 
Katy Perry, The Prismatic World Tour Katy Perry, Making of the Pepsi Super Bowl Halftime Show Jeremy Scott, The People's Designer Zoolander 2 Tours and Residency CO Headlining Tour Strangely Normal Tour Headlining Tours Hello Katy Tour California Dreams Tour Prismatic World Tour Witness, The Tour Residency Play See also List of Best Selling Music Artists List of Most Followed Twitter Accounts List of Billboard Social 50 Number 1 Artists List of Highest Certified Music Artists in the United States List of Best Selling Female Artists Forbes List of Highest Earning Musicians Notes